this is Killer Three Five Four Cool. Thanks for watching all my cousin's videos and mine. Um, I just need to tell you a few things. What I got at Pet, Pet Smart today, and it is so awesome. It is. As you know, I got a bigger cage. And hold up one second. Alright, as you know, that this is my new cage, and there's a rock that you can climb on, and then here's an old cage that I had for a long time. That's the old and pretty cage. Um, my cousin's guinea pig, when she may, if she may spend the night tomorrow, Bucky is going to stay in there, and, um, what he is going, all he is is gonna stay in there, or maybe he can, Bucky can stay in there for a little bit, um, for about two hours or something, cause I don't care. Um, then he can probably come in this humongous cage. Um, what well, I was gonna tell you about, oh, and, uh, give me some comments about this food. I want to make sure it's okay um, for my guinea pig. Uh, fine shaving. Alright. It says it can cause respiratory problems. A butt, a bag. Two alphabet fine shavings are made from the largest flakes in the market. Larger flakes have been most desired by pet owners since in the 1970s because they contain very little dust of any at all. Dust has been known to cause respiratory problems in animals as well as humans. So I want to know if y'all have anything like that. Um, alpha pet, it is. Pine shaving, the number one kind. Uh, it says, furs, lizards, rabbits, uh, uh, sorry, gerbils, hamsters, rats, and guinea pigs. <coughs> um, just give me some comments. Uh, and here's some hay that I got them today. Let me see, hey. As you see, all these carrots up here. As you see, all them red things. Those are carrots. Alright. Um, thanks for watching all our shows. Oh, we really appreciate it. Thanks. We need video requests. Thanks. Bye.